YouTube, this is Lamar here bringing you another episode of BGC 15 Live. A uh, quick few updates before I start today's video. Uh, I am going to be doing daily content. So, yeah, daily content, especially since the uh, BGC season in Australia is, um, you know, pretty much picking up with the announcements of regionals uh, and premier challenges. Uh, so, yeah, that's my motivation behind doing daily uploads. Uh, I'm also trying to hit a like goal of at least 5 or 10... Um, like to video. Uh, so if you'd like to support me in my endeavor to provide daily content, uh, a like would be very much appreciated. Uh, don't feel forced to, but again, it really does help the uh, channel get noticed. Uh, so today's team will be the same team that we've been using for the Pokemon Oz um, Easter tournament. Zapdos, Weavile, uh, Suicune, Metagross, uh, Breloom, and Heatran. So without further ado, let's find an opponent. So I will also be doing, uh, you know, mixing it up. So I'll be using my Alpha Sapphire game and quite a few different teams as well. So we will have a very a variation of things happening. Uh, keep in mind that my uh, Alpha Sapphire game is laddered higher at the moment than my Mega Ruby game. As we get a Victorian opponent uh, from Australia Victoria. Uh, so we get Omar and his team will consist of hmm, Heatran, uh, Mawile, Sylveon, Bomber Snow. Cresselia and uh, Ariyama. So this looks like a Trick Room, Trick Room team that I've uh, seen a few floating around. Uh, the I think Cresselia is the obvious Trick Room user in this team. Uh, okay, I'm gonna lead Weavile and Balloon. You can pretty much discourage um, or shut down Trick Room altogether. Uh, I'll probably put. Uh, I think, yeah, my own Heatran works well against quite a few Pokemon on his team, so I'll definitely bring Heatran. And. Yeah, I'm quite comfortable even bringing... Oh, Zapdos. Zapdos. Uh, Metagross to deal with quite all his team as well. Everything except Heatran can be dealt with by Metagross. But, uh... Oh, Suicune also deals quite well. But only, only really threatened by... A bomb of snow. Yeah, okay, we'll bring Suicune. Okay, this is one match I want, I'm not bringing a Mega Pokemon to. So I'm guessing the Mega on his team is definitely going to be Mega Mawile. I don't see a reason for a bomb of snow to be the Mega on this team, unless, of course, um, it is actually slower. Mega Bomb Snow actually is slower. I think it's like base 20, so it could also be a possibility, but... Mega Mawile has been a Pokemon that's traditionally see, uh, seen more taking advantage of Trick Room. So here we're just going to fake out... Um, well, we could we could also swore. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to fake out Cresselia and Hmm. Yeah, okay. We're going to fake out Cresselia, because we have the fast to fake out. And... We're also going to spore Cresselia as well. Okay, so we just exchanged fake outs this turn. Okay, so what we can do in this test is knock off Cresselia. And also go for Spore as well. We'll go for that play. He's probably switching in the Bomber Stone, I think. Yeah, okay, switch. he's bringing in the Bomber Stone. So, knock off, I think. Knock off here will confirm the Mega. Uh, whether or not the Bomber Stone is the Mega, rather. We have to knock off. And yeah, so being the Mega is our question. It means Mawile is definitely his Mega Pokemon. Uh, 
as uh, Breloom gets taken out by close combat here. Okay. So now we're going to bring in uh, Heatran. And, uh, of course, in this scenario, Heatran can significantly threaten um, a Bolan Snow, but we're also going to uh, focus purely on Hariyama, because Hariyama is also still quite a big threat there as well. We're going to run Ice Punch. Um, on to, I'm going to use Ice Punch onto Hariyama and Flash Cannon as well. So, uh, Cresselia comes in again. I don't know if it's really going to get a chance or not to set up Trick Room. Flash Cannon unfortunately misses out on getting the uh, KO. But uh, fortunately for me, I am holding Chopper Berry, so I should be able to take this close combat as I do. And I think Hale may be able to take out Harry Armour's turn, we'll see. It's a good chance it could. As it does, so yep, excellent. Okay, so. Yeah, my opponent's uh, Hale pretty much uh, dealt with Harry Armour for me. Just being able to get the. Uh, being able what I couldn't do with my own Pokemon, which is get up the KO. Uh, okay, so it says it's in Heatran. Uh, I think... Hmm. Well, thankfully for me, since obviously taking advantage of the fact that Weavile's an Ice-type Pokemon, I'm not going to take any Hail damage. So, I could just go for Knock-Off here onto the Cresselia, and Earth Power is uh, Heatran. Yeah, as we do... We get rid of the Citrus Berry, and I think Cresselia here just goes to the Trick Room. Okay. So about the, um... About the Citrus Berry, Cresselia is just gonna sit there and rack up, um, hail damage. Uh, I do want to switch out Weavile into Suicune. And I'm going to protect here with uh, Heatran. The reason we want to keep Weavile around is because obviously we've got Fake Out support, we've got Low Kick, and we've got uh, Knock Off. So Weavile is a good matchup against everything that's remaining on his team, especially for if we can get down to uh, Trick Room being the only, especially rather we can still out the Trick Room turns. So this Heatran should show off whether or not it has Earth Power, as yeah, as most Heatran would. And Cresselia goes to Psychic. Yeah, it's not going to be doing a drastic amount. As uh, both the opponent's Pokemon and um, my Pokemon all take Hail damage. So here we're going to go for Snarl. Yeah, we'll go for Snarl. And I'm going to switch... Actually, no, I'm going to... Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm assuming his Heatran will be slower and in, uh, invested in bulk. So this is going to protect again. And hope I can get a double protect. If not, um, I mean, he also could go for protect as well um, on his own Heatran. Because he might not be certain what spread of, uh, what certain spread I am of Suicune. Uh, but we do get a double protect, so very lucky, fortunate situation for us. But now, uh, both his Pokemon have to be deal, have to deal with being at minus one, and Hail stops in this turn. Okay. <clears throat> so, what I want to do now is... It's highly unlikely that uh, Heatran would get a triple protect anyway. Uh, I'm guessing the Ebolsa wants to uh, Mega Revolve. And obviously it would reset the hail if it did Mega Revolve again. So again, another Snarl off, another Snarl off and he, Heatran is probably just going to faint anyway. So we're going to... Uh, 
Yeah, okay, we're just gonna go for Flash Cannon on some Bomb Snow, but chances are I'll get KO'd anyway. I see trying here to switch this out, okay. So What we do get, okay, is Wood Hammer from the Bomber Snow. Uh, but it won't technically it will not KO um the Suicune, but it'll, it'll KO um it'll also KO itself. Okay, so interesting that the opponent didn't Mega Revolve at all. This game at all. That just means the flash cannon will go on to Cresselia and knock out Cresselia. So very very poor switch on my opponent's end. Um <clears throat> I don't think he's Yeah, I just don't don't think he's out because he could have uh, taken out my Heatran there, no problem. So we're gonna go for Scold onto the Heatran and just protect. That's your forfeit. Yeah, because that was a very big misplay he made there to switch because he certainly could have had my Heatran uh, KO'd. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. Challenge, yep. <clears throat> okay. So we get a 1546 rated player from Japan. And their team consists of Thrakian, uh, Priscilla, Eggy Slash, Bishop, Charizard, and Rotom Wash. Okay. Hmm. I definitely can't uh, be so dependent on Snarl here, especially with Terrakion and Bishop. Um. Hmm. Matchup this definitely has a lot of answers for my team. I think I'm going to lead off with Weavar, it's definite. Yeah, okay, we're gonna lead off with Weavar and Zapdos. Uh, in the back. We could just set up Tailwind. Setting up Tailwind also has its benefits. Okay, yeah, we'll bring bring Suicune as a lead. Uh, we'll bring Zapdos in the back, definitely, though. And... Hmm. I think all things considered, I don't want to bring Metagross. I'm either opting for Heatran. Or Breloom. And at this stage, I'm starting to look more towards Breloom. Especially under Tailwind, where I can put things to sleep. Definitely yeah, put that pressure on for the opponent. Yeah, okay, we're gonna for, go for a balloon. So this uh, marks both uh, both games. This upload where I've not brought a mega. Hmm. So now we've asked Suicune. And the opponent sends out uh, Terrakion and Charizard. Okay. Uh, this turn I am going to low kick Terrakion. And Tailwind, I believe. I believe it's the best play I can make. Yeah, okay, we're going to Tailwind. I doubt that the Charizard uh, will Oko me, especially after Citru uh, with Citrus. Uh, Citrus would probably restore me to around Yellow Health, I imagine. Yeah, okay, we'll go for this play. As he withdraws Terrakion, okay, so it makes a really smart play. Uh, he sends in Rotom Wash. Okay.
And Charizard Bite just goes to protect. Okay, so pretty much we get free chip damage onto Rotom Wash. Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on uh, getting rid of... Hmm... Good knock off for Rotom Wash and... Just go for the Snarl. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll just go for Snarl. As so we get a crit and get rid of the Citrus Berry from that Rotom Wash. So, in, if uh, Charizard Y does indeed want to go for Solar Beam, as it does, it will not be doing uh, as much damage as it could be doing, which is a good thing. Okay. And we avoid the will -O -Wisp. Okay. So this isn't bad. Um, I'm predicting at uh, now that my opponent knows that we have uh, Snarl, that he may want to switch out. So what we're going to do is we're going to Ice Punch the Charizard Y. And we're going to... Oh, we could just um, actually... Yeah. Okay, we're going to get rid of that Rotom, I think. Knock off Rotom, because I don't want to get burnt if I can avoid it. And even if it switches in... Uh, even if it switches... Even if the opponent switches in Terrakion, I do have Tailwind up. And I'm also going to... I, believe, I think at this stage Ice Beam actually would do more damage than Scald. Or it may not. Stab. Yeah, okay. Actually, Scold would do more. Okay, we're going to Scold um, Charizard Y. Despite being the sun, I think it would actually do more than... Um, <clears throat> do more than Ice Beam. Okay, so the opponent sends him Bishop. And this goes to Protective Rotom Wash. Okay. If we can get a burn on to Bishop, that would be major. Okay. We're gonna knock off uh, Rotom Heat again. We should take it out. And we're going to scold the Bishop. Now of course he could switch on switch into Tracking on here and take um, take advantage of that. But even after Tailwind runs out, I still have the speed advantage on Terrakion. Now, I should also actually be considering making a switch here as well. I really want to try and get a burn on Bishop if I can. Okay, we're going to make that play and go for Scold onto the Bishop. So do we, yes, we do manage to take out the Rotom this turn, which is good, so we avoid any scenario of a burn. And we go for the Scald here onto Bishop. As Bishop just goes for the knockoff, which will be a crit. I don't think the crit mattered. Uh, and Bishop shows it's a life or Bishop. Okay. So now we're going to send in Zapdos. <clears throat> so it's that's what my opponent brings in next. Brings in tracking on a Charizard. He brings in Charizard. Okay. So this is a good matchup for me. Uh I'm gonna go here for low kick onto Bishop and Thunderbolts the Charizard Y. Now, uh, my... Yep, as it takes care of Bishop. Now, I shoot out speed and Oko Charizard Y. Most Charizard Ys are modest. Okay, this one's not. Okay, it's it's timid then. Okay. And it does a hell of a lot of damage to Zapdos as well. <laughs> so, uh, here we just go Thunderbolt onto Charizard Y. As it does, uh, get taken out. Okay, and then that just leaves Terrakion in the back. But this uh, Zapdos in particular is actually uh, EB to Oko, uh, not o well, Oko and at speed most Charizard Y. So the last Pokemon in, uh, for the opponent will be uh, Terrakion. 
he, in order to win, he needs to be able to survive a low kick. And I need. Oh, actually, no. Well, I've got um, Bloom in the back as well, so the game is pretty much sealed up in my favour. I think we're just gonna risk to use Zapdos because there's not really much we can do with Zapdos anyway. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, so Rockslide will knock out both my Pokemon, but we do have uh, Breloom in the back. So, yeah, so Breloom uh, has got this game pretty much sealed for us. So let's go for the Mac Punch, and yep. So I'm surprised Terrakion wasn't carrying Quick Guard. He, if he really wanted to um, troll, he could have used Quick Guard in that position, but then again, Mag Punch PP is going to take quite a while to um, run out as well. So we win that R1-0. Uh, uh, and yeah, that brings us to the end of today's upload. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, do also remember to hit that like button. We're trying to aim for at least 5 or 10 likes. And remember that I am doing daily uploads. Um, the, due in part to obviously the VGC season ramping up here in Australia. And I'm al always uh, looking for challenges for do best of three. Uh, so yeah, if you want to reach me on social media or just uh, drop me an email at the uh, Gmail address below, themariax at gmail.com. And yeah, until next time guys, um, I hope you have a great day and take care.